after getting a sweet plea deal that will let her stay out of prison, Secretary of State Diana Duran now wants to pay a lot less restitution. News 13's Alex Goldsmith explains why her attorney says the state's asking for too much. Well, Kim Duran's attorney says her client deserves another break, at least when it comes to restitution. All right. In October, it all came crumbling down for Diana Duran. She resigned as Secretary of State and pled guilty to two embezzlement felonies and four misdemeanors for stealing thousands in campaign donations and spending it in New Mexico casinos. I now realize some of my choices were not healthy and I will be seeking the appropriate professional help. That plea deal allows her to avoid prison and the AG's office says it's not going after her public pensions because of how state law is written. She is being asked to pay nearly $14,000 in restitution about $1,000 to donors she stole from, and the rest to the state general fund. But now Duran doesn't think she should pay almost any of that because... I never improperly used taxpayer resources, including money. In a motion filed Tuesday, Duran's attorney says because Duran didn't steal state money, the state is not a victim that can be paid restitution. So her client only owes about $1,000. If the judge goes along with the argument, it would be yet another break for the former Secretary of State. The Attorney General's office tells News 13 it will file a response to the motion before the end of the week, but in October, the AG defended the deal his office gave Duran. I also believe her admission of guilt today allows New Mexico to move forward and save hundreds of thousands of dollars on a costly trial or an impeachment proceeding. Now the judge could decide to add a fine of up to $14,000 to her sentence. If the judge decides Duran should spend some time behind bars, she can back out of that plea deal. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now Duran's set to be sentenced on Monday. We will be in the courtroom, let you know what the judge decides.